And here I've got one more slide about the balance. So the, again, the question isn't just one. We don't want to send brochures or emails, and not to beat the point to uh, not to beat this this horse this dead horse some more, but it's all about maxim maximizing ROI, and the balance is all about having uh, an ROI-driven approach or a metric-driven approach. And remember, dropping one aspect of your marketing could alienate or an entire market segment, which could be problematic. Next, I want to really want to talk to you guys about this 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 cool uh, development from JMH. This is this is one of my one of my babies. This is one of my process babies. This is the smart mailing list. This is the guy that improves itself as time goes on. Before I really get into it and talk about it from a high level, I want to uh, review sort of the old way of, of building uh, uh, mail marketing campaigns. It usually went like this. We design it. We design the collateral. We send it to the uh, we make sure it looks good, and uh, we send it to the printers. We, we make sure it looks good printed, and then we mail it. And we go through that process over and over and over again, and, and things work, and we were able to survive in good economies this way. But here's the new approach that I'm proposing. We design the collateral, and we design the list at the same time. We design the list because we want to know who is going to receive this piece of collateral while we design the collateral, while we think of the content that goes in there and the message and the images that we want to share, we should, we should know who these people are that are going to receive it. We need to be deliberate about doing that simultaneously. We're going to make sure it looks good. We're going to send it to the printers, make sure it looks good printed. We're going to mail it. Now look at this. We're not even halfway done with the new process and we've already done the old. And what we normally would have done is cut right back to the top. But instead we need to, we need to look, at, look at those numbers every single time. We need to measure them. We need to analyze them. And then we need to make improvements. We need to not send again to those people who just did not respond. And we need to send again, we need to send more to those people who did respond. So is our, our old mailing list uh, a look? This is, this is actually an old mailing list. This is, that's why it's on a piece of parchment paper, because that's what we used to put our customer lists on. It was usually two, a two-part piece. It was old customers that were in your database. And by old, I mean people who have done business with you before. And these are really good candidates to market to, always. These people um, have already spent money with you, and they're probably happy, so you should be sending information to them. The second piece was a potential customer, uh, potential list of customers on a list that you got from your clearinghouse. Um, this is based on the parameters that you sent, living within a certain radius, a household of a certain, certain amount uh, of, of uh, income, et cetera. And that was a decent way to do things. But here's the new way, out with the parchment and with the sticky notes. The smart mailing list is put on a sticky note. I put this here. I don't want to talk about the pictures too much, but I thought this one was pretty clever, so I'm going to share it with everybody. It's on a sticky note and not a piece of parchment because a sticky note is newer than parchment and because a sticky note is mobile. It's agile. It's adaptable. I can move a sticky note from one report to the other, and that's the idea with the smart mailing list is it's going to change depending on its setting all of the time. And this is a three-part list. Yeah, it's got customers in your database, but these customers are ones that you know probabilistically are going to come back and are going to generate really high ROIs if you mail them their catalogs. Got to be really deliberate about picking those people, though. Really deliberate. It's also going to include a li likely prospect uh, list from your clearinghouse. The clearinghouse. That means you send your parameters to the clearinghouse. You look at it, and you figure out which ones are going to be the good ones. You go through, you look at the probabilities, and you figure out which ones are nice. And the next bit is, 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 is the, the more interesting. I, call this, I like to call this the experimental group. But the idea there is you want to send to people who are very likely to come. And the people who have done business with you probably live near other people who are likely to do business with you. People are like their neighbors very, very often. And that's the group of people you want to capture there. And that's not something you want to miss out on just because you didn't think of the parameter to include those carrier routes from your clearinghouse. So we've got to be intentional about getting those experimental ones, because we can do work that the clearinghouse can't. All that being said, as, as we wrap up, I want, I want to uh, put forth the following. This is my little political bit. This is my polemic. Let's all agree to spend less on catalogs and get more money at the same time. We do this through a smarter mailing list, of course. Next, uh, we can revert some of that freed money to email to do it more aggressively, because it is really common, and people are really used to it. And that's, that's one of the ways that a lot of people want us to communicate with them today. So let's do a little bit more of that. And let's never ever, oh, this is, this is, this is wishy-washy, I suppose, but let's not waste any money. What I mean by that is let's have a process for catching that wasted money. Every time we find ourselves wasting it, let's not do that again. Let's not waste that money again. Let's waste it on something else. 
be experimental about it. You're going to lose it anyways. But at the same time, we can make sure that we're getting more money for all of those efforts as well. I think, I think we could all probably agree on that. And we're almost there. Just a couple of takeaways for you guys. You know, tough times uh, like the ones, that, the ones that we've been through call for not more of the same. A um, little, little political there, but uh, the idea is, is we have to make things better. We have to make improvements all of the time. Um, and, and just, just sticking with what's work probably isn't going to cut it in this type of economy. It's important to know what we're doing. I don't mean, you know, knowing how to make an email or, or a catalog, but I mean know the people that you're sending it to and know the ones that are going to respond. And let's use those metrics that we're using for improvements to figure out what the chances of those people giving us a good ROI are. And remember, improvement is continuous and it should be part of regular marketing. We always have to analyze those things, just like checking your health. Go visit the doctor every year, you know. Measure your marketing activities constantly. And finding that balance is really about, you know, understanding differences between market mailing mechanisms and audiences and, and organizations and finding your own ground. Uh, building a smart mailing list and letting it run itself. Let it, let it improve itself. Let it get better as time goes on so you get better as time goes on. Uh, it's about using uh, numbers and data to determine um, tough decisions that, that usually are just pulled out of the air, like how many should we send, and, and meet marketing budget goals and program revenue goals by using the ROI. Uh, let, let, let those goals tell you what a good ROI is and what isn't. And your ROI will tell you if you're going to meet those revenue or budget goals. And finally, uh, a little ditty on, on, on JMH and how we can help. We can do a lot of things in your marketing area. We can. We can analyze what you've got going on. We can develop plans for you, strategic plans. We can launch uh, email marketing campaigns and pay-per-click campaigns. Uh, we can manage your email campaigns or your pay-per-click campaigns. We can manage direct mail. We can analyze your direct mail campaigns. Uh, we can help you develop a smart mailing list that does constantly get better, that you can reliably say is going to be better every quarter that you have it in place. Um, and we can also help you improve your processes uh, around all of these things.